Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another chemistry lesson and we're here in my virtual studios in beautiful Atascacita, Texas and today we're going to talk about writing chemical equations. All excited about that. In this lesson, chemical equations, equation symbols, and writing equations. Now this is a very important skill. Pay attention. Be sure you have all the necessary things. You need a periodic table. You need your polyatomic ions list. Now, if you have all these things memorized, that's great. And you must know chemical bonding, chemical names, chemical formulas, oxidation numbers, and the periodic table, or how to use the periodic table. Very important that we get this information down. The chemical equation is a symbolic representation of a chemical reaction and it reveals three things the reactants the products and the mole ratios or the amounts and learning to write a good chemical equation and then balancing it as we'll do in the next lesson allows us to understand what we're doing it allows us to do a lot of things in the future that have to do with chemistry such as stoichiometry and percent composition and all these different things are important and based on what we know about chemical equations. All right, symbols. One important symbol is aqueous, and aqueous just means dissolved in water. But it's important that we understand that. And we use these symbols to tell us what state or in what form the different compounds are. Yield, change, now that is the delta symbol, the Greek letter delta and we use that to show change. Plus sign means combine. And then of course we have an up arrow to show that it's released. A lot of times we use that to show that the gas wasn't collected but it was released into the atmosphere. Steps for writing equations. Identify the reactants and products. That's the first thing you need to do. And if you don't know how to do chemical formulas and writing chemical names, then you need to go back, look at those lessons, practice, send me an email, I'll shoot you off some practice sheets, but you've got to know how to identify reactants and products. Then write formulas for everything, both the reactants and the products. Three, place the reactants on the left, place the products on the right, and put an arrow in between them. It's pretty much that easy. And this is easy, unless you just don't know how to name compounds and write formulas. But if you can do those two things, the rest of this gets very easy. And uh, make sure you know your periodic table or how to use it. And you have a list of your polyatomic ions that all these things put together help you to write a better uh, chemical equation. Let's look at an example. Aluminum reacts with phosphoric acid to yield hydrogen gas and aluminum phosphate. Now, watch this very carefully, and if you need to, stop and uh, go back, rewind, and look at it again. That's the beauty of video. We have the technology. First, identify the reactants. Second, identify the products. Now write the formulas. There we go. Voila. Practice time. Let's put it to good use now. Let's see how we do. Aluminum and oxygen combine to form aluminum oxide. First the reactants. There we go, write them in. Second, the product. Okay, now we'll worry about balancing later. The important thing here is to write a good chemical equation. Dinitrogen pentaoxide reacts with water to produce nitric acid. First, the reactants. And notice the reactants are dinitrogen pentaoxide and water. So we'll write them down. Second, the product. Sodium bicarbonate produces sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide. First, the reactants. And in this case, reactant. There we go. Second, the products. Got all those in there. Notice that this was a decomposition reaction. Don't forget to check out www.mrkazi.com for PowerPoint videos and much more. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Go to mrkazi.com, find the link there for the YouTube, click on it and go join my channel and get notified every time I produce a new video. 
Have a good time and happy ions. And don't forget to shoot me off an email if you have any questions.